introductory video to a series I'm going to be doing about artificial intelligence. The series will consist of five videos. This is the first. The second will be about the Turing test and its implications for artificial intelligence. The second will be about John Searle's Chinese Room. The third will be about whether or not consciousness is an algorithm. And finally, there'll be a video about the implications for artificial intelligence on all our lives in the near and far future. I hope you'll think about this yourselves, add ideas. Eventually, I would like sometime over the next two weeks if we can arrange a time to do a blog TV or a stick'em where we could all get together and discuss these ideas in person. Anyway, the first thing you're going to do is get a general introduction following this to the concept of the Turing test and the Chinese room and generally what the rest of the video series will be about. The Turing test was originally called the imitation test, and it was devised by Alan Turing in 1950. He conceived of it as a computer program which would engage in a text-based conversation with a human interrogator, attempting to fool the person into believing that it, too, is human. Turing realized the epistemological limitations of such a test, an admission of the impossibility of knowing with certainty that any other being is thinking is part of that, and an acknowledgment that conversation is one of the most important ways to assess a person's intelligence. Thus, Turing said that a computer that passes the test would be regarded as thinking not that it actually is thinking, or passing the test constitutes thinking. In fact, Turing specified at the outset that he devised the test because the question, can machines think, he said, was too meaningless to deserve discussion. But it is precisely this claim that passing the Turing test constitutes thinking that has become not just, a primary, not just a primary standard of success for artificial intelligence research, but a philosophical precept of the project itself. So we're going to be considering what the Turing test actually is and what it can demonstrate. Another interesting thing we're going to be discussing is a 1980 paper by the philosopher John R. Searle, in which he sketched a thought experiment in which a man who speaks only English sits in a room with a batch of Chinese symbols and a set of instructions written in English. Interrogators outside of the room slip questions written in Chinese in through the door. The man inside understands no Chinese, but based solely on the English instruction and the shape of the Chinese letters, he constructs answers which he then slips back through the door. Even though the interrogators might believe that they are interacting with a person who understands Chinese, we know that the man inside the room does not understand Chinese. Searle's scenario is, of course, designed to be an, an analogous of how an operating AI program works and is thus supposedly a disproof of the claim that a computer operating a similar program could be said to understand Chinese or any other language, or indeed anything at all. So that is basically the Chinese room. The next video in the series will be a discussion of an article that came out in 2000 by Bill Joy. Called, it came out in Wired and it was called The Future Doesn't Need You. It's a very interesting article. It will be posted in the sidebar. Uh, if you wanted to study ahead, <laughs> you could read it now. 
finally, I'd like to lead up to a video or two about the future of AI and of AI projects. In this, I want to consider what consciousness is in detail. It will not be easy, but I think it will be interesting. So there you have it. I want to try to put puzzle pieces together to understand the state of artificial intelligence and the impact it will have on all of us as human beings who inhabit this planet because I think it's the most crucial consideration or one of the most crucial considerations we'll be having to deal with in the near future. Thanks for watching and please check out the sidebar and think about this with me. You guys take care.